stayed in uh, Jasper, Arkansas last night. And I went north on Route 7 and took the first dirt road going uh, west, which is this road right here. <laughs> and look at the, the fog has really, really been thick. Visibility isn't all that bad, but <clears throat> it, it uh, waters up my glasses and and makes it pretty hard to see. So it's a pretty little interesting road. Like that, it's right along the the, the uh, Buffalo River is just to my left, not very far at all. So this fog may it may just hang with me for a long time. Got a little water crossing here. I bet that little road there will take you right down the Arkansas River, or the Buffalo. My well, video uh, lens may just fog up real quick, I don't know. But, you can see this is a real nice road. This is the very first dirt road going north on 7 across the Buffalo River. And it goes straight westward. Oh, this goes about 15 miles before it hits another road. Wow, look at that cat. Looky here. Private property. I didn't know that. I'll be darned. Somebody has bought the road. Huh. Can't believe that stuff happens. Well, I hit a dead end on the road on the, on the going uh, west off of Route 7. So I came back and I was going to go east on a on this road. And I was sitting there and I ran into these guys in the Teneris. They're at the Terry Rally there at Dog Patch. And uh, they're kind of going the way I was kind of wanting to go. And I said, you care if I tag along with you? Fine. These are the same guys I was following the road, by the way. Yes. I'll put video on it. Well, this road so far has been kind of spectacular. And look at the fog. I think the Ar uh, Buffalo River's out there somewhere. Man, it's foggy out there. Might be need to wipe off my, my video lens. Well, so far this road has been spectacular. Kind of nice to have a little companionship. I've been riding by myself so much. Maybe if I fall all over these guys, will pick help pick me up. Man, that dog got a, <laughs> he had a hunk of meat in his hand, looked like a leg off a coyote or something. I bet if you tried to grab that, you'd come up and stun. I think it was just daring me to stop and try to grab it. Look at that blue sky. Awesome. You guys are fun to ride with. Run at a pace about like mine.
Seen a lot of motorcycle tracks in here. I've got some guys from that Tenary rally there at Dog Patch are riding through here maybe. road here will take me right down to the Buffalo River. The Buffalo River is one of the most gorgeous rivers I've ever I've ever seen. It's just gorgeous. I think it's a good place to take a little rest and maybe have a snack. A lot of people raft this river. Let's take a break. Got a waypoint on my GPS of a spring, and I seen a to the right of, of me when I was coming down this road a creek. And all of a sudden, the creek quit just immediately. So I figured the spring is right here because just beyond there, there's no water flow. So look. This is a pretty sizable spring. Look at the water coming out down there. Just seeping out. Wow, this is a neat little find here. If I hadn't seen that, had that waypoint on my GPS, because I've marked a lot of springs years and years ago on my mapping software. And, uh, I found it. So all that, all that work I done all them years ago, has paid off big time. Well, that's some pretty scenery right here. mountains up ahead there. Getting ready to, coming down this mountain and road here, getting ready to drop into the little town of uh, Gilbert, Arkansas. Population, I really don't know. I'm going to say 30. <laughs> and it's right on the Buffalo River. Uh, this is the main road to get to Gilbert, Arkansas. You can get in from, to it from another way, but it's even uh, rougher than this. So right there is the Buffalo River. See if I can go down here and get stuck. You know what? This is not the Buffalo River. This is a small creek that goes into it. But I'm real close to Buffalo River. I'm 
No, that is not the Buffalo River. It's much bigger. Man, the Buffalo River is right out there, but you can't see it from where I'm at. I went down a dead end road and I passed a, a, an old ghost town of Rush, which I'll video going out of here so you can see the old buildings. It was really cool. Well, there's camping, primitive camping back down in here. And a mud hole. Actually, the primitive campground is pretty nice. I've, uh, I done went to it. Let's go down and take a gander at the Buffalo River. Been talking about it so much. Let's go down and take a look at it. And there she is. Like I said, the Buffalo, in my opinion, is one of the most beautiful rivers I've ever seen. It is gorgeous. Well, I've never been here before. It says Rush right there. The old, go the old ghost town is uh, pretty unique. We'll get some video of that here in a little bit. I'm on. Take a break right here. Ghost Town of Rush is uh, is right off the Buffalo River. This is a beautiful river. Ahoy, mate! Ahoy! How are you doing? Well, I'm retired, so I'm really doing good. How are you doing? Anytime not at work's good, ain't it? Yep. Sure is lots of history down here at the old uh, ghost uh, town era, area of Rush, Arkansas, R-U-S-H. And there's little hiking little paths all along here. I probably just was rich in uh, mining in here. And there's 5,000 people that actually lived down in here way back when. And here, there's just a few buildings remaining. There's one. Can't imagine five. Nobody lives here now. Probably all blows. There's, there's a few more old buildings. But there's some hiking trails with little interpretive signs leading off this main road. So it probably goes back. It might go back to an old mine or something. I don't know. So. Put it in the rest of the stuff. We need some real neat uh, descent coming down in here. And a neat ascent going out. Yeah, I'll see if I can finish off that rear tire. Climbing this climbing this mountain out of here. I think whoever designed this 690 owned a tire company, a rear tire company. 